Okay, we've got the Halo Star stick vacuum, cordless cleaning vacuum. We're gonna go through all the details, talk a little bit about the filter, how long it takes to charge. So I'm gonna do an unboxing video first and then right after I'll show you some practical use. I'll use it on a carpet, I'll use it on a rug, and I'll use it on wood floor so you can just kind of see what it looks like um, on those three different areas that we have in our home. So uh, beautiful box, right? First of all, it's a stick vacuum cleaner. So let's jump in and see what's in the box. So I have not opened this at all, uh, right? You're gonna have a user's manual that comes right here. Um, obviously one part of your stick, uh, hose here. This is actually your battery power. This is slick. This is your uh, vacuum itself where you're gonna get some of your energy from. So you got the 20,000 PA plus max and you charge it with a USB-C. Here's your power button. Okay, so already we've got uh, three different levels, just a regular, mega, and then super ultra, and then you just hold it down for a long hold. And the nice thing I love about this on the back end, right, is this is clean air coming out. So there's a filter inside that we'll talk about, um, but this is this is heavy duty. You can see that there. Um, comes also next with the filter here as we put all this together. Uh, and this is your container. This is where you're gonna empty out, right? This is not a big vacuum that you would vacuum your whole house with but this is more of a spot vacuum. And the nice thing I like about this already um, is just a quick and easy way to dump. Let's see if I can push this. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll show you when I get it all put together, but to empty the cartridge just in a regular trash can. So two extra filters, a charging cable, which is USB to USB-C, if you can see that it's wrapped up, so that's in the package. We've got um, the fine there, and then this is pretty slick. Just throw this over and you get the brush right on top of your adapter. So, good looking, you just swing this back down, lock it in place there. Again, this is going to be our hose. Probably going to be three or four of these different pieces to make it into our stick. And then underneath everything in the box, you've got multiple adapters. So let's go through all of these. You've got a wide head there, adapter. You can see there. You've got an even wider head that'll twist back and forth. I would use this on hardwood floors. And what you can see here is it's got a ball joint here. So this can go up and down and side to side a little bit there. So there's that adapter. We've got an even cleaner corner adapter that you can see there. So go on the end. And we've got a brush adapter that goes here on the end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this all together. I'm gonna give it a charge. It's about a three hour charge. I'll tell you more details about the vacuum itself. Um, and you know, as far as the filter, what it'll clean out and all those different things. So keep going. Okay, so we're about to give this a run and I just wanna walk through some of the things that uh, just so you're aware, right? So there are washable HEPA filters. Um, this filter that's connected in here and everything, 99.9% .9 of particles, dust, allergens, um, and the small um, uh, 0.3 microns that uh, the outtake right here, you'll see here, is releasing clean air into your home as a vacuum, right? So the air that's blowing right from here is not anything, it's not outtake, it's clean air after it's gone through the filter and purified. So it's not actually exhaust. So one of the things that you'll also need to be aware of is that the HEPA filter um, is washable, but you only need to rinse it out maybe once every 12 months and um, the filters need at least 24 hours to, to air out or dry completely after you've washed them. So that's important. And all of this is in the manual. Um, you wanna clean your filter frequently to make sure that you're getting all of the dust and everything that's in here so it just keeps working and uh, it'll extend your vacuum's lifetime or lifespan. Uh, it could also be reused uh, multiple times. Um, 
for the lifetime and it also reduces waste. So we have a clean uh, cage in here, filter in here. We're gonna take it upstairs. Um, we're gonna go on three different floors. We're gonna go on a rug, we're gonna go on a carpet, and we're just gonna go on some hardwood floors throughout the kitchen. I'm not gonna place like cornflakes or anything down to pick it up. I think maybe some people would do that. Um, maybe we will, uh, just to see how big of pieces it can get. But we're gonna try a few different attachments. We'll try just the short version here where we can put a handheld on the stairs. We'll try a different, uh, couple different things, but fully charged. So right here, it'll be bink, blinking blue when it's charging. And again, remember this is a USB-C to USB-C or to USB-C to USB. It was blinking blue and then it was a solid blue when it was fully charged. I just unplugged it. So let's jump in. This is the Halo Star stick vacuum. We're gonna try it on the rug first again. There's three settings. We talked about this before. This is the carpet. We're going to go to the hardwood floors. We're going to come over to tile. And then we're going to change cameras for a minute and we're going to go do carpet. We're going to do this on some high double thread carpet uh, and we're just on a highest setting. attachments you just pull it off as mentioned earlier this is where the clean air is coming out after it's gone through the filter this is not exhaust but clean air is coming out And then we're gonna empty the cartridge just to show you what we got with all of those really quickly in the trash can so you can see. So you just pull this off and we're gonna go to the trash can and show you all the dirt that we just got with just maybe three minutes of vacuuming. here in the vacuum container there's a little button right here you just push this this flap's gonna fold down and then all of the trash will come out so a couple leaves in there just a dust bowl you can see that's all the stuff that we got just from that two or three minutes of vacuuming and then this just snaps right back on there and you're good to go again <laughs> 